everyone. So, just had my baby shower and I wanted to show you guys this beautiful village. Um, I've been wanting to visit it for a long time and um, Henry and my good friend Kosti organized it so we've just come to this beautiful village and um, had such an amazing day. I think you guys are gonna love it. This has been voted as one of the most beautiful villages in England. Um, very historic little village. I don't know the history of it, so I'm just gonna show you how beautiful it is. So this is the little public walkway to get into the village. How amazing is this? I wish the dogs were with us, but it was a bit too far of a drive to bring them with. Hey, babe. Yeah. I don't think they would have, well, they would have been okay, but it just would have been way too long in the car for them. So this is basically the top end of the town. Yeah. How cute everything is. some of the dates. Nineteen hundred. Wow. Now oh, that is old. Unbelievable. I can barely read this one. Yeah. Or this one. Mm. Look at the stream. This is so well maintained, isn't it? Yeah. This is a new one. There's a beautiful church back there. I don't think we should film inside the church. Just out of respect. Watch the step. <laughs> Nineteen eighteen. Wow. So if you guys look over there, that um, building that has the white at the top with the um, wooden pattern. That says the old courthouse. Didn't you say that's the Tudor style, maybe? I think so. I think that's Tudor architecture. From when King Henry VIII was reigning. Oh. And killing all of his wives. And he killed like seven of his wives. Yeah, quite a few, I think. How many wives did he have? I don't know. I feel like this is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> It's a nice little memorial. All the puppies up there. Is it, don't you feel like you've just like gone back in time? Because 
everything's like so old, beautiful. And then you have this beautiful greenery everywhere. I mean, look at the little door handles and everything. It's like stepping back in time. This was the um, place where we had my baby shower. It was so unbelievably lovely in there. Just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> on the door. Isn't that like the national animal of Scotland or something? I don't think so. I think it is. It's something <laughs> it's something that doesn't even exist. So this is the old post office. Look at that. No longer in use. Very cool. I'm gonna Google the National Animal of Scotland and I will update you later in this video. I just don't have any signal right now. Here's the water we were hearing. Imagine that was your house. That one right over there. <laughs> How awesome would that be? This is so beautiful. So this is the other side of the bridge. There's a hotel up there. Look, this bridge has been stapled together. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I did just Google, it is the unicorn, <laughs> is the national <laughs> animal of Scotland. You guys, I don't know, it doesn't make sense, but look how pretty this village is. Wow. This is definitely worth the long drive, don't you think, babe? Mm -hmm. So we're in Castle Coombe. If anyone comes to England, highly recommend a visit here. There's a golf club in the hotel. Wow, this looks fancy pants. Hey. It's huge. And it's got like very manicured gardens. Hey, Professor Henri. <laughs> Hit it. I don't really know if that is actually Tudor. That's okay. But it's definitely medieval of some kind. What were you going to say about this situation? <laughs> um, well, you said this is random piece of wood. But that's, yeah. that's, that's a lintel or whatever it's called. Like this one here, see here? Oh, okay. It's it's the port above the, above the door. Yeah. So here there used to be either a door, but I don't know, this is quite wide, but there used to be some kind of opening here. Yeah. This, you see there's another mark here? Yeah. So this might have been a window, and there's one on its own here. Oh, and there's one here. Yeah, and there's one here. So there's two things happened here. Looked like it was a huge door. What was it, honey? A big square door for <laughs> large people. Or for donkeys. <laughs> and then the window. I see. <laughs> or maybe, yeah, I don't know. But that's what this is. This is a lintel, and you can see the marks from where they patched that. How do you know this? Uh, Designer. You're a professor Build, of many things, are you? Construction. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. See if these windows don't have it. But that one over there does. No, but they got the stone. See here, the stone. Yeah. So that would be the. So they're fancy. That's what what is holding up all this stuff above it, giving it the structural support. You are so clever, honey. <laughs> oh, there's the um, those iron thingies that we were looking at earlier. Yeah, the the gutters. Gutter. Yeah, they look quite old. Look, this one's got horseshoes on it. Let me see if I can zoom in on the iron gutters. Amazing, right? Wow, 
so pretty. There's a genius design <laughs> element. <laughs> <laughs> So we're leaving now. Aww. I'm so sad that our little trip is over. But we need to get home and back to the dogs. This was such a wonderful day. Hey, baby. Mm. Thank think... you for helping Kirsty organize this amazing baby shower. Oh, she did it. She did it all, really. Well, you sneakily <laughs> got me here. So <laughs> thanks for that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little, I guess, travel vlog because quite a tourist destination this yeah uh, like I said this is um there's all sorts of all these people are in different nationalities you hear different languages there. yeah there was Spanish people lots of Asians uh, Portuguese people there was just Americans everyone it was lovely mm. but thanks for watching along with us you guys and we will be back with normal farm animal activities tomorrow so Bye everyone!